so in this question they have said there is a resistor of 50 ohm and inductor they have said that is 238.73 milli henry and capacitor is connected right capacitor value they have mentioned that is 35.36 micro farad okay just mute it from your side Uh, capacitor value you got it 35.36 and they have connected the voltage 110 volt and frequency is how much 50 hertz they have given and what they are asking they are asking the active power they are asking the reactive power and they have asked you the apparent power also and they ask you to draw the power triangle okay so this is the question they have given first of all we should know the values or the formulas that is for the active power active power is how much that is v i cos phi right so for that we know, we should know voltage voltage is given that is how much voltage is given in the question 110 volt correct current they don't mention and cos phi also they don't mention but for that for the calculation of active power we should calculate current first there is a formula according to ohm's law v is i is equal to v by r but as you can see that there is a combination of r l c so instead of resistance what will take i is equal to v divided by z right but for that we should know the value of z as well right so z is in the form of r plus j xl minus xc correct r we know r is how much they have mentioned 50 j as it is xl we don't know again we can calculate xl by the formula 2 pi fl and xc by the formula 1 by 2 pi fc it is in milli henry so you need to convert it into henry by multiplying it 10 raised to the power minus 3 and c is also in microfarad so microfarad is 1 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 after getting all the values you will get the value of xl as i am writing down 50 plus j 75 as the xl and xc you will get 90.0197 this is you will get for the z okay so after solving it we'll get z is equal to 50 minus j 15.019 for that we need current current is how much v by z v is how much 110 no voltage no angle is mentioned so we'll take zero but z is mentioned 50 minus j 15.019 this is in the rectangular form so we need to convert it into the polar form after solving we'll get 2.10 angle would be 16.71 okay now we can easily calculate the active power active power is what v i cos phi v is given 110 and current is given 2.10 just remember one thing in the case of power we'll never take angle okay will never take angle like we don't take 200 2.10 angle 16.71 we'll just take the magnitude and you know that cos phi phi is how much phi how much we got that is 16.7 i told you now phi is what phi is basically the angle between voltage and current so how much is the angle between voltage and current that is 16.71 i am saying that at uh, like at this point we don't need to take angle we are taking angle cos in this term cos phi okay so after solving this we'll get 221.96 watt okay next is reactive power that is vi sin phi again we are having the value of v i sin phi also we can calculate how we are having one formula that is sin square phi plus cos square phi is equal to 1 cos phi value we know or sin phi we can calculate or we can directly write down also sin sin 0.7 okay 
next we need to calculate s is vi that is simple okay now we need to calculate power triangle for the power triangle you just need to know that on the base side we'll take active power this one is the reactive power this one is the actant power active power is 221.96 watt reactive power is 66.65754 for var the unit of reactive power is var var is the volt ampere reactive and apparent power unit is 231.769 va va is the volt ampere and this is the 55 how much we got that is 16.17 okay